So I did a test shipment. I ordered a $58 pair of earrings on Saturday. And uh, the, the product wasn't promised to ship until Tuesday. And that was with the $8 expedited shipping fee. Um, I was surprised when the shipment was actually fulfilled on, su on Sunday, so the following day. And uh, it was tendered to FedEx with International Two Day. Um, so that was, it was really interesting to me because that told me that they had a fulfillment center that was fulfilling orders on the weekends, which you typically don't see. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of goes to this idea that maybe they've got a single fulfillment center that's, that's servicing a lot of brands internationally. Um, the, the, you know, the, the product shipped from Toronto. Um, when, it, when it got here, I did a reverse search uh, on, on where their fulfillment center is. And it, it looks like they have purchased their own warehouse. It looks like they're operating this uh, themselves, or they have someone who's like dedicated space for it. Uh, there are some other jewelry companies that are associated with the same address. And so um, it, it may be one of the situations where you have someone who's got a dedicated portion of a warehouse and they're just operating it for you. Um, but the, the, so you know, that was very interesting to me. Um, and then the, the unboxing itself was kind of interesting. It reminded me of one of those Russian nesting dolls because it was like the earring and a cloth in a bag, right? So that's first level. And then that is in a box, which is in another bag, which is in the shipper. And uh, it was, you know, obviously the supply chain guy, I mean, is like, oh, you know, put it in a brown paper bag and send it to me in, a, in an envelope and there we go. Um, but I get perception of quality. You want to make it look better. And so, you know, I, I can see why they did it. And it, it looks nice. It'll be, it'll be thrilled when I, when I give it to my wife. Um, but then the, the other interesting thing from the film up point of view that they did is they actually had a custom card that they printed the order number on there. And so it was, it was a small kind of index card that was printed out. And they said, here's your order number if you need to do a return or exchange, uh, even if you were gifting it or, or doing whatever, uh, which was, I hadn't quite seen that before because usually you either get the big packing list, which is ugly, um, or you, you just don't have the order number. And so it's kind of difficult. You're reaching out to your customer service people and trying to work out what's there and just hoping that you have it in your, uh, the order number in your inbox to, to do that exchange. Um, but I, I like the uh, the card touch they included. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I think it's kind of interesting, though, from a packaging standpoint, because they have a sustainability report, but then they have such a a unsustainable packaging, it, it seems like. I mean, to have that many layers of, you know, cardboard and boxes and all that crap, it's like, you know, I understand you want to create this luxury experience that's memorable, but at the same time, you're publishing a sustainability report and your packaging is the opposite of that, in my opinion. You know, like, I, I think, uh, I'm sure they're very responsibly sourced bags and corrugate and things like that. You know, like, things have to look nice. You know, if you're going for something that, let's say someone spent a couple hundred bucks on, you can afford to have recycled paper or something just to make it feel good. 